So, welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, March 1st, 2021. So, uh, yes, this has been quite a heck of a week. And uh, we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have been rallying from the very bottom here of 89.67 all the way up towards 92.16. So, we're still really far off the previous highs here and so on so this has been a surge we have seen these surges before this move was actually also a fairly big move to the upside so did we uh, same was here the same was here same was here and um, at all those points we did rally above the 50 and then broke down again at the moment we are getting fairly overstretched if you look at the fibonacci no not the fibonacci but the bollinger band we are significantly outside of the bullish band. Last time we were that, for example, over here, we did break down significantly. So this could be a warning sign for the US dollar index. We're also getting on the edge of being overbought and we haven't been at that level for, well, we have to go technically all the way back to this spike here in last year when the beginning of the coronavirus and, and the breakdown in the stock market. So, that is a warning sign. Then we have additional warning signs for the US dollar index. And that is, the, for example, the Fibonacci. We can see that we have tested the first here, broke that, the 50 we broke. And now we're heading towards the 61.8. And that is showing to be quite a lot of, of resistance. If we manage to break that, then we have the 200 moving average just above. And that will certainly be acting as resistance. So we could see a pullback from here towards the 20 and then continue rallying up. And that will give probably give us enough momentum to break the, the, the 200 moving average if that is where we're going. Otherwise, we could actually see this drop towards the downside. So on Monday, it is fairly likely that we'll see this, can, this fall if we get a red candlestick right here. If we have an opening that is very bullish, then... This could be wrong, and we go to the first, the second, the sixty-one point eight Fibonacci retracement, and probably also to the two hundred moving average. But we are way outside of the Bollinger Band, and that will also mean that we will be significantly overbought. Technically, indicators otherwise are very bullish at this point. So let's look at oil. So this was definitely my worst trade of the week. Um, so we did have this fall for, uh, for uh, three consecutive days and then we hit that 20 exponential and uh, then we had this a massive rally. So we went from uh, 59 all the way up towards 66 and it was difficult to trade this because there were so conflicting um, news coming out. This could have easily gone, well, the opposite way towards the 50 moving average. And uh, if we just look at technical indicators, then yes, this was a buying opportunity because we have been bouncing up the 20 exponential. But at the moment, this is getting, well, very out of hand, to be fair and honest. We can look at the, uh, the, the Bollinger Band, for example. We are way outside. Even though this is a very bullish candlestick, this should be expecting to pull back on on. Monday or on Tuesday because we are significantly outside. Technical indicators are very bullish at this point. We are on the edge of being overbought. So yes, pullbacks towards the 20, that seems to be the the, um, the um, basically a strategy here. And uh, yes, if we look at the long term for this, we have basically passed the previous highs or testing the previous size here the previous size here and this is a very parabolic move there is a forecast for from goldman sachs that this will go to 80 uh i you know to be fair honest i i i have had a hard um, difficult uh, understand that we have had this rally while the world economy is in a slum at the world at the moment we should be trading at $25 or $28. We shouldn't be trading at $66. Yes, 
if you look at the at the for example what happened back in 2000 and uh, 2008 when the, the world financial crisis hit we went into recession uh, we dropped from a hundred and fifty dollars all the way down to thirty two dollars if I remember right and we were staying at that uh, point for uh, for a long time we are definitely not seeing the same thing now we have in the world economy that is uh, basically not doing really well high un unemployment for most countries and we have a uh, oil market that is just completely going out of control so first of all for the real economy this will work against the real, real economy this will be a major cost to the world economy at a point where it doesn't really need an extra cost so the rise of oil rise of all of these commodities they will basically make the the turnaround in the world economy much more difficult so just keep that in mind we could be in a slum for a foreseeable future if these um, commodities continue to increase because prices will go up production production or the or the value of goods and so on that will basically increase at a time where people will have less and less money but otherwise pullbacks towards the, the, the 20 exponential that is the way to go we are significantly overbought at this point i would at the moment uh lost the trade so national net gas we can see that uh, we continue to drop we're dropping below the 50 moving average here and we're trading has stopped underneath the 50 moving average and that is a very a very shine for this market we could be heading towards uh, these lows here at the 2.5582 or the 200 moving average we have also been in this case before only uh, last week where we dropped below but we did manage to break above that so at this point this looks very very bearish at this point it looks like uh, uh, a bearish flag pattern that is occurring here and that basically means that we'll drop at least this high towards the downside and that's drop roughly towards the 200 moving average but this is natural gas be careful trading this this is more, probably the most difficult market to trade of all of the uh, well basically the markets that are in this analysis so technical technical indicators are very bearish at this point so we may see this drop uh, for the next few trading days so let's look at copper so yes copper did turn around absolutely to be fair honestly we went up uh, around three percent three and a half percent on friday we did have this massive drop towards the 50 moving average it didn't get really get there and then we rallied yet again so what happened here is that we basically got close to the last Fibonacci retracement here at 61.8 and then we rallied now we are we did not manage to take out this previous counting the highest here so this doesn't mean that we are going to go straight to the top this is a very bullish candlestick because there is basically no ends here it's a full kind of full body but we could see a pullback towards the 20 exponential before going higher in this market technical indicators are turning around uh, except for well, not all uh, technical indicators are turning around cci is turning around and rsi is turning around while the other two are bearish at this point so let's look at gold so gold continues uh, falling off a cliff it is uh, at this point there are a few points where we could see this market turn around we have broken 1700 we are trading at 1699 so just on the edge of being 1700 so we have the first target here that is um, 16 uh, 1675 a break above that could open the door a real tiny way all the way down towards uh, this level here which is at 1570 70 and then right down here at 1461 a massive 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 drop but uh, at this point we are oversold we are also getting overstretched if we can look at the, uh, the bullinger band we can see that we are on the edge of the bullinger band so pullbacks towards the middle of the bullish band that should be expected but they will mostly be sold into as we are in a downtrend 
So break below this level here, that probably won't happen straight away. That opens the door to 1570 and then all the way down to 1500 or probably towards 1461. So we can look also at the Fibonacci retracements for, for gold and we can see that the reason why we stopped right here is that we are at 61.8. We did pierce it. We did not rally significantly above it, and that is a massive warning sign that usually when you get to this point, to this Fibonacci retracement, then you have a massive rally. You're basically people waiting for this point and then just buying into it. Buying into it. We're not seeing that here. So a break below this could drop all the way down here to 1400 levels or 1500 levels. So Yes, what, this was not what I expected for gold for 2021. Expectations for gold were, well, for most uh, you know, big institutions were basically to 3,000 and 5,000 levels and so on. We're going completely in the opposite direction. Broke this channel here and now we're heading way, way, way south. But we could rally, so... Uh, those rallies will most likely be sold into as we have done for uh, the last few trading days. We will rally here, broke down, rally here, broke down. Another rally towards the 50, 20 exponential will most likely also break down. So let's look at silver. So silver just fell off a cliff again. We found support around uh, $25, give or take. We're trading right above the 200 moving average. Technical indicators are very bearish at this point, and usually silver follows gold. If gold drops, then usually silver also drops. But there's still more encouraging signs for silver because we're still trading above the 200 moving average. We're going to have a crossing if this continues up to 20 and the 50 moving average, and usually that is also a very, a very bearish sign. We can see what happened here when we had this crossing, we dropped significantly. And also when we crossed the upside, we have a massive rally and, and so on. So that will be uh, a warning sign. If this crosses, then we could basically see this drop to the 200 moving average at roughly 23, uh, $24. So this is uh, not looking very good. So yes, be careful with this. This is a market that moves extremely, extremely fast. So it looks like a platinum. So as you can see, we broke below the 50 moving average and are trading below the 50 moving average. Technical indicators are still very bearish at this point. So we will probably go towards the 1100 if we don't manage to break above the 50 moving average. If we do, then we'll head towards the 20 here at 1187. But uh, fair honest, this was just a market that got really, really out of hand. If we look at the previous channel for this market, which is roughly here and roughly here, give or take, then we are basically at the bottom of this channel. So we have the highs here, we have the bottom here, and we're basically at the bottom of this channel. So we could be just seeing the similar moves that we saw in the past where we were bouncing off this channel and this is basically the bottom of it. And then we continue within the support. If we break below here, then we'll open that opens the door all the way down to 1100 and also 1000 and the 200 moving average. This was, well, basically a false breakout. You can say that it was we the market got way, way out of hand. It got significantly overstretched. You can just look at the Bollinger Band, how far outside of the Bollinger Band we basically got out of the normal and then we crashed back in towards where we basically were in the past. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens here. If we have a green candlestick above here when the market opens again, that could be a signal that will continue within this channel here. So let's look at Pallium. So we are still um, in the same place that we have been for basically forever. So we're trading at a highs of 5, 2.5. I can remember all of these statistics, uh, numbers now, but I've done the same analysis over and over again. So the highs of 2.5, lows of roughly 2.1, 2.2, and the 20, you know, 200 moving average that is here that's also going to offer a major support. 
So we're basically in the middle of things and uh, just stay away from this. There's no point trading this when we're basically in the middle of this of this, uh, of this this square. Trade at the bottom or trade at the top. Otherwise, just stay away from this. So let's look at uh, aluminium. So yes, we are bouncing off the 20 expansion when we average. This is a really difficult market to, to trade. You just see how many gaps there are all over here gap down gap up gap down and so on so it is it is uh is a difficult market to basically trade but if you look at uh, where we are finding support it's basically the 20 exponential moving average technical indicators are all over the place so if we if you see uh, um, a pullback towards the 20 and uh and that offers a lot of support then yes it is probably a, a safe to buy into this uh, break below the 20 opens the door to the 50 and um, well at this point because of uh, of the nature of this market i would just stay away from this it is just um it is basically right all over the place we need movements like this we don't need movements like this this is just complete chaos so let's look at nickel so nickel has well Fallen off a cliff, so from 19, uh, 20,000 all the way down towards the 200 moving average at uh, 15,733, give or take. Then we rallied and then broke down again. Whether or not this was basically the bottom, could be. Um, we didn't get close to the 200 moving average, we're still far away from that. Last time we hit the 200 moving average was way over here in the, this was basically in July in last year, and then we had this massive rally. So at this point, we can look at the Fibonacci, and we have to look at the long here from the very bottom to the very top, and we can see that the 50 Fibonacci raisement was right here at the 200 moving average. So it would make sense if this market fell towards this uh, price level here and then rallied. This move here doesn't really make much sense at this point. We have some of the technical indicators turning around. We have RSI and CCI are turning around, but the MACD and the, and the stochastic are still very bearish at this point. So I wouldn't be surprised if we went even lower and then continue higher. So that is what I'm going to look for. I was prepared to buy into this when we got towards the 200 moving average, but we never got to that point. It looked really certain that we were going to do, but we didn't. So, yes, let's have a look at that on Monday. So, we have sugar here, and now we're finally, it looks like we have stabilized in this market. We have this massive rally breakdown, and now we're stabilizing at the 50 moving average. Technical indicators are turning around, so it is more likely that we'll cross over the 20 exponential, head towards 0 0.1750, and 50, and then continue higher. This is looking more encouraging, the stabilization, but uh, there was a massive drop to the downside. But we have found support here, and uh, as long as we don't break above, below the 50, then we are most likely going to go higher. So let's look at cotton. Yes, cotton continues to drop. Uh, we are trying to test the 20 exponential, but we haven't gotten that point yet. Technical indicators are still very bearish, so I wouldn't be surprised if we fell further towards the 50 moving average before going higher in this market. This was a parabolic move, and usually you have another similar move to the downside because this got way out of hand. So the reason why we found support here is because we are at 61.8. So yes, this could be the bottom, but if we break this, we'll go to the 50. Break about the 20 exponential, that opens the door to the previous highs here at the 0 0.91 and then 95. So let's go cocoa. We can see that uh, we are still trading at the highs here at 2.8, the lows here at 2.2, and then we have the middle here. So we have 2.6, all the way down to 2.3. So we have been trading sideways. We have not managed to break out of this uh, square. 
bottom here offers a lot of support and the top here offers a lot of resistance and until we basically break out of the square we're not going to these highs or to these lows i haven't traded this market for a very long time and caused it it's all over the place it looks like pallium to be very honest and uh, i'd rather trade it up here or trade it down here in order to get longs for this market so let's look at wheat So wheat basically crashed towards the 50 moving average and we are stabilizing at the 50 moving average. We have additionally pierced the 50, but we are still trading above it and underneath the 20 exponential. Technically, they are either bearish or flat at this point. So it is fairly risky. We could drop towards uh, all the way down to the $600 level. We could also rally up towards the $700 level. So. At this point, if we don't, if we manage to break about the 20 exponential and start trading above that, then that is a current sign that will continue upwards. And we are still in an uptrend. That is that is that is very true. Uh, but at this point, we have just stalled at the 50 moving average. So hope you find this helpful. If you have any questions, you're welcome to write to me on Patreon. Otherwise, good luck and thank you very much.